language on the ballot is pretty simple. It requires each electrical provider to provide 25% of sales from wind, solar, biomass, or hydropower. The rates are capped to prevent ex extra increases, more than 1% per year. And the deadline of 2025 is extended if um, the costs are, are excessive. It also has a statement that requires the state legislature to enact additional laws to encourage the use of Michigan-made employment and Michigan-made equipment, of Michigan residents and equipment. So that's not specific. It mandates the legislature to do something rather vague. Um, so there are a bunch of questions that just come up continuously about this. Why is it um, being proposed? And the main thing is that Michigan electricity is now generated 60% by coal, which is the dirtiest fossil fuel that we burn for electricity. Michigan has no coal, so we spend about $1.7 billion a year importing coal from other states. And in relation to jobs, those jobs are not in Michigan, they're in the states where the coal is coming from on these trains. Um, coal has the worst air pollution, health effects, mercury emissions, and of course carbon emissions from fossil fuels. And just a quick note, here's where the money is going to where the coal is coming from Michigan, the coal belts, <laughs> I guess you would call them. And this, this is from the Union of Concerned Scientists that has done this map. Um, so why? It's economic development, jobs, and general economic development. Michigan is a, obviously a manufacturing state, so those are the, the economic issues, and also decreasing air pollution, which is a economic impact that we don't often quantify. People complain that it's a constitutional amendment. That is the way to do um, voter initiatives in Michigan. Five of the six um, voter initiatives on the ballot are constitutional amendments. The Constitution is amended frequently in Michigan. Um, and the Constitution already has some stuff about, about energy policy in it. Article. This article actually talks about atomic power, atomic energy. So currently there is a renewable energy requirement in Michigan that says 10% by 2015, and we're pretty close to being there. That was passed by the legislature in um, 2008, and the uh, major utilities are on schedule to get their DPE energy and consumers energy being the big ones in the state. So other states also have requirements. Michigan is not by no means the first one to have a requirement. Um, some of our neighboring states, Michigan, Iowa, Illinois, and Ohio have passed 25 by 25 type legislation. And of course, many states have different details on the rate controls and whatnot. Um, but I'm interested that some of the more northern states have even much more stringent um, requirements. New York is 29% by 2015. I don't know where they got 29. Alaska is 50% by 2015. Uh, 25 and Maine is 40% by 2017. So why not ask the legislature to do it? Well, they did it in 2008, but they don't seem inclined to their current legislature to do it again. So, um, in fact, they tried to weaken the existing standards. So the utilities from the 10% requirement, they have had some renewable energy surcharges They've gone down over the last few years. And in fact, I found this quote from February 2011. This is the president of Consumers Energy. And I won't read all that. He said the cost has gone down at that time. And the energy law, so that's the 10% law, has enabled investment in renewable energy in Michigan, the creation of jobs, and it represents a significant reduction in cost to our consumers. So he stated a few years ago, that um, this law was good, now they're actually lobbying against it. 